So welcome back to the channel. Today we at Row Aquarium, one of my local fish stores. I'm gonna go through and give you guys a little look at the tanks and see what he got going on. He told me that he had got a bunch of new fish in, so we're gonna go through and look at some of these tanks and see what he got going on. In this tank right here, look like he has some yellow rainbows. These guys are really nice. Loving the color of them. And then he has some of these gold isolados in here as well, these shell doors. I think these are some really awesome fish. I think he just had got these guys in. I told him I was gonna buy some. But really awesome little fish. Phil got tons and tons of fish up in here. But this tank, he got some angel fish, he got some gold money rainbows. And it looks like there is some small pearl piramides in here as well. As you can see, it's really good pricing on all these fish. They're nice and healthy. This is why I buy all my fish from Royal Aquarium. Even got some nice uh, Amazon source in there as well. Look at this tank with all these tetras in here. That's crazy. I did notice that he just got these guys in. He got a tank full of rummy nose tetras. Look at all these rummy noses in here. Got those guys going for $5.99 each if you buy three or more. Really good price on those. All right, here we got some chocolate cichlids. That's where I had got my chocolate cichlid from. I think he's selling them for a really good price. And he has some awesome marble angels in here as well, which are really beautiful. Let's see what else he got going on up in here. He got a tank full of a bunch of mixed guppies and laddies. Just tons of those guys in there. Up here he got the dark red. Coral platies, you guys remember I had picked some of these up recently. Really been enjoying these platies, a lot of color. Um, so I definitely suggest you guys come pick up some of these if you want to add a little bit of color to your tank. Just a cool little platy. Here you got a bunch of rosy barbs, long fan rosy barbs with all this fossil tang down there. It's crazy. I bet they are breathing like crazy inside this tank. Here like we got some rainbow sharks. And I really like these little cats right here, these little cynodonis. These guys are awesome. Pretty pricey though. I think he went about 40 bucks for them, but they are definitely worth it. Pretty cool little cats. Look like he has some type of quarries in here. I didn't scare them guys away. Here's a bunch over here. Some nice little quarries. Not exactly sure what type of quarries these are, but they're definitely some nice little quarries. And he has some gobies in here as well. Oh, some nice little gobies, like some purple spot gobies. Really awesome little fish. He also sells a lot of plants. This is where I picked up a lot of my plants from. So you can see he sells like nice clumps of cribs, anubias, got some fowl in the back as well. We can literally get anything you want at Bill's. He's been keeping and selling fish for 40 plus years. Like you got a tank full of little mollies. He just got these guys in. That's another thing I love about Phil's shop is that he do not sell fish when they first come in. He quarantines the fish, makes sure the fish are healthy before you guys are able to buy them. What's up in this tank? Like some more quarries up in here. And there's some baby carbenzies as well. Got another tank full of a bunch of fowl and another different type of quarry. I think these are like some leopard quarries. These guys are pretty awesome. I like that little top fin on them. Then he got some leaf fish in here. Cannot go wrong with the leaf fish. Very underrated fish in my opinion. 
Um, they do get big and they are pretty aggressive, but I just like their behavior. They're really like docile. They kind of just float around in the tank, just chilling. These tank fish over here are really interesting. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I've never seen them before. They're some type of albino armor catfish. They're pretty cool. Nice little eyeball fish. Let's see what else is going on. Look at this right here. Look at all this Java fern in here. I need to buy some of this. Glad like we got some pink neon tetras in here. And then there's also some type of like inler in here as well. Nice little inler. But the Java fern in there is just crazy. Let me get some of them. I feel like you got some both money rainbows. A nice small both money. And then it looks like there's some type of tetra in there. I'm not exactly sure. Like a black tetra, maybe. But definitely can't go wrong with the both money rainbows. Now, every time I come here, I have to look at this tank because these are final echolides are amazing. Now, I have the regular echolides like these types at home. Um, but these abiding ones are definitely at the top of the list of the dream fish that I want to get in the future. It's just really hard to find. When you try to ship them in, they just never come in really healthy. So hopefully one day I can find some of them. And then these anglefish up here, these are like some marble anglefish. You can see they got like that speckle on the side of them. Very unique anglefish. But he will not sell these abiding ones. Echolize. I've been trying to get him to sell them fish for like six months. He would not sell those fish. Like he got a whole tank full of some survey tetras. He must have just got these guys in. They are looking nice and healthy. There's tons of plants in the back. I'm not exactly sure what type of plant that is, but it's definitely different. I've never seen that. Let's see what else is going on down here. Got some long fan rosy barbs in here and then some long fan white clouds. Very interesting little fish. And I like those little onion plants in the background. I don't know if that's an onion plant or some type of crypt. I'm not 100% sure, but I really like this plant. And I need to try that in my fish room as well. Then he got some Anubias in here as well. It's looking good, looking great. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, I noticed these guppies. I'm like, these guys are pretty good looking. Don't have a name of them, but I'm sure they're some locally bred guppy. So you can see how healthy and beautiful these good guys are looking. Then you got a whole tank down here of these Harlequin grass boars. I need to pick up some more of these to put into the black water tank. But he got tons of these guys, and we got them going for about four bucks a piece. I think if you buy 25 or more, you get it for three bucks a piece. So can't beat that. They nice and fat and healthy. So here we got our grass guppies. These are actually the guppies that I set up in the last video in our breed for profit tank. Um, these is where I picked them up. You can see how they are producing in this tank as well, along with a bunch of baby bristle nose plecos in here and we can see how many babies it is up in this aquarium and there's no plants in this tank and they're breeding that's how good this species of fish is they do not per day on their young at all oh up here i didn't see these like you got some butter copra eyes up here nice butters nice butter copra eyes and you got like some smaller heck in here as well along with some angelfish and I think there is some type of other teal in there but these butters are looking good. I'm gonna have to give tiger me several. Oh the tiger several? Before, I thought red. they were I thought they were butter kofri eyes. They look like butter kofri yeah. eyes but they're tiger several they're they're a lot they're different. Yeah. They're not gonna be cheap either. <laughs> <laughs> is anything ever cheap Phil? Especially for me. <laughs> The only thing cheap around here is me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought those were some butter fries. No, I didn't see why you thought they were. Yeah. Over here we got some uh, filamenta bars. These guys are huge. I got some of these at home. I hope they don't uh, get this big no time soon. I don't got the little 
Yeah, you wouldn't better have that many in there. I was wondering, I'm like, he got butters in there with angelfish and yeah, no, I'm I haven't like, lost that much in my mind yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> A very like got a nice big breeding pair of some discs. Look how that boy looking right there. Just beautiful. How much you want for him? I think the Torquor this is going for eighty nine and the other one is going for two fifty. He's definitely worth that. Beautiful. Also got a nice selection of baited fish in here. The lighting is kind of flickery on that, so I won't spend too much time on that tank. I see what he got over here. All the tanks over here are kind of like semi-aggressive Africans and different things like that. You got a full tank of, look like these are some yellow labs in here. Just a tank full of the yellow labs. Looking good. Now here he got some albino flame bags in here. And then there's some blue regal peacocks in here as well. Nice, nice, looking good. He got some trophies in here. He do need some trophies in my fish room. Trophies is looking good. I'm not exactly sure what the other fish are. Oh, there's some blue dor uh, dolphin four eyes. Those are nice. Man, there's like there's some type of a vinyl trophy that's in there as well. Those are interesting. Never seen those. And this tank, I was looking at these fish the other day I was here. These are some flame bags, no, some yellow top of bombas. I'm not exactly sure if that's the name. Um, but they back there, you see they got that little black up under they throat. I think that's a really interesting fish. I've never seen it before, so I might have to pick up some of them for my fish room at the house because I like getting new stuff that you don't see every day. But nice little assorted tank of some Africans mixer. Can't go wrong. Look at this big old pleco you got here. If you got looking for a big old pleco, there you go. And then there's a nice little tiger shovel nose right here as well. I think you bought about forty five dollars for now. Can't beat that for a little the tiger shovel dog. Look like he got a nice silver arowana up here. He wants 70 bucks for him. Or $75 if you pay for cash. Nice arrow. I need to get me another arrow in the fish. It's been a minute since I had an arowana. Then we got another tank of some tangerine zebras. These guys are looking good, especially with that light. Really brings out the color of the fish. Let's see what else? Oh, you got a tank full of like some more mix. That's a nice OB right here. Really nice OB male. Got a nice big old rainbow shark. I used to have one that was like super big. Very underrated fish as well. They also have some of these frontosis in here. I'm not exactly sure what type they are. Um, because they, they body style, they kind of like a fat fish. They're like your normal front token. So I have to ask them. I think they're like a cross between some other stuff. And here's some more of them over here. You can kind of see a better shot of them, how they look. It's still a really interesting fish, though. And anyway, you got uh, some mixes, some haps in here, some peacocks. And look how big these uh, gold synodonuses are. Can't even focus on them, they're so big. You want a hundred bucks for those guys, wow. Here you got some red fin borley eyes. They're looking good. Definitely are. They got, they said they red fins, but they got like a yellow fin. So maybe that's how they look when they're younger. And then the fins get a little bit more red as they get older. This tank, you got some more exotics. You got some bashars in here. Can't go wrong with a nice bicer. They got a nice clown knife in here. Two clown knives in here, actually. How much do you want for those? I think you want 20 bucks for the Bichers and $29 for the clown knives. And then there's some type of catfish in the back. I'm not exactly sure what type of catfish that is. Like some type of four-line cat. Nice little fish. They got some Oscars in here. Tank full of goldfish. 
really nice gold fish. Oh, this is good right here. This uh, flame bag male. Looking good. Let's keep looking and see what he got going on. Check out this side. It's more like the nano uh, fish over here. So we got some type of barb in here and some sword tails. I actually got these same sword tails at home. And none of these guys got their swords yet. I feel like they mainly females in here. But they're still pretty young so maybe they haven't produced their swords this is also another plant that i like to use these are some onion plants um these really grow really good and bring a lot of hype to your tank and they're very inexpensive i think you got them for maybe like two bucks a piece can't beat that for them now, this tank is full of embryo tetras now, these guys look funky they got like a weird funky look to them Let's see if we can get them to focus a little bit they got a really funky look and a nice size too i have to pick up some of these guys for a future build now these is probably like one of my favorite fish he got in the store and i'm definitely going to pick up some once i set up my breeding rack these are some comeback lemas i really like it look how fat this female is right here she's huge then he got some more males in here the males are kind of smaller they got like that little black fin on top of them and the females are more bigger and then they are distinct by that little hump you can see how the male has that nice little hump at the top just a really awesome fish and i can't wait to get some of those in my fish room and start breeding them as well another tank full of some regular rosy barbs look at all that plants in there you can never go wrong we got some tiger lotuses just tons and tons of stuff now here we got some more fern that java fern is growing crazy down here we also got some kissing garamis i haven't had a kissing garami in my aquarium in a long time you might have to give me some more christian kissing garami one day they looking good for sure another nice little species of guppies in here these are some locally raised guppies i was looking at these guys the other day as well i uh, like how the males look they got a lot of little color to them i had to pick up some of those in the future and start breeding as well got some neon tetras down here looking good nice and healthy how much do you want for these neons probably about two or three dollars a piece i don't see no price on the glass right now and up here you got some discus the smaller discus that are going for probably about what 50 bucks 55 dollars for these guys and then you have some cardinal tetra there i'm going to be doing a cardinal tetra tank here so i'm going to set up like another black water tank with a bunch of cardinal tetra i can't wait to do that build it's going to be super super dope we got here we got a tank full of this nice black angel to look like can't go wrong with the black angels that is going to be pretty much it just want to give you guys a little small little tour of road forever you got anything you want to tell the people phil you got anything you want to tell the people tell them to come shop right come and shop we'd <laughs> love to see you yeah. we'd love to see you come and shop man so if you guys want to come check the store out come support phil He's been doing this for a very long time, and you got to support your local mom and pop fish store. So that's me pretty much it for today's content. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you got subscribed to this channel and turn on your post notifications to be notified when I drop more content. I'm out of here.